muscles you'll have. We'd hardly see you anyway, would we? Hi, hon. Hi, honey. See you again? Mm, no. I was watching the cheerleaders. <laughs> therapy doctor and I've worked out a progress check chart here on each patient. Ah, uh, forget about that. Do you realize what an important lady you are? Hmm? No, I really mean it. I made a deal with Hannah too. Got her your poster if she took the new medicine. Patty! Hello, Hannah Sue. Your poster's beautiful. Oh, that's good. I'm just get you tucked in here. You need your rest, you know. Sometimes I get bored just resting. I saw the playoff game. I saw you. You were beautiful. Will you autograph? Okay, now, honey. You take it easy. Patty will do it right now. Oh, yes. Of course I will. To my best patient, Hannah Sue Lyman. Thank you, Patty. Okay. Now you do your part. Rest. Do try. Now do it. Or else. Can't you show some of that to Hannah? She adores you. I'm a nurse. I try to be professional. With kid patients sometimes, it isn't professional enough. medical school and I couldn't get in. Well, apply again. Talk to them. About what? I can't go without a scholarship. And a school here just doesn't have the money this year. There are other schools. I've applied to them, too. You know I have. 
It won't happen unless you make it happen. Grandma, you just don't understand. Don't worry, Mrs. Beaumont. Candy will get into medical school. When? Well, I don't know. Next year, maybe. Find out. Okay. I'll go back, and I'll ask him again. Good. That's settled. I'll go fetch us something to eat. Ooh, it's like a rock. She doesn't understand. Sometimes no means no. Then apply without a scholarship. Let me help. No. We're engaged. We love each other. We're going to get married. Why not? Tim, I will not put that burden on you. I won't. You're just like her. Let's get married now. Not until I finish my education. I've got to do it. Why, because it's her dream? No, it's mine. She made it possible. I bet she doesn't think of it that way. But I do. You take, and you gotta pay back. Okay, come on. Mr. Killian. Sam. Hi there. Sam. How are you doing? Uh, you already know me? Mm-hmm. How's that? I've read all about you. A Time Magazine article about five years ago. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hi, girl. You'll find I do my homework. Well, I hope you realize I'm not really as egocentric as they made me out to be. But I understand you do get what you go after? Yes. Mr. Killian, I'm not going to allow you to manufacture anything that isn't true just for ratings. That's not my style. I just want a shot of getting an exciting show on the air. Fine. As long as it doesn't disrupt what we have to do. Get ready for the Super Bowl, Mr. Colain. Terry. Mr. Colain, the girls are going to be under an awful lot of pressure. We all are. They're not professional chorus girls. Most of them simply go to work or to school, and they hardly have enough energy or time even for our rehearsals. Anything more. I'm just afraid they're not going to be ready. That's why I set the rules. So you do your honor show, and you'll have no problem with me. I'd be afraid to do anything but. Good. Hi, sweetheart. This is the TV crew we have been expecting. They're merely here a week early. For the show you're doing on us? Yes, that's right. I'm uh, Terry Killane, everybody. I'm your director. Hello. Uh, this is the crew that you see around you. Now, the important thing is that while we're shooting, you look natural, that you just go about doing what you're doing, and uh, don't be afraid of the marks on the floor. Just, just uh, ignore us. <laughs> I know, I know it's pretty hard, but at least try. Be better yet if you do it, huh? Now, you take five minutes and limber up while Texie and I rough out the new routine on the board. Okay? All righty. Come on. Let's go. Time. That's right. Look, if the watch is making me. 
Patrick for a few days. And let me handle Suzanne Mitchell. The girl starting out at each end of the end zone. Let's bring them down. Straight line, say down to the 10. And crossing each other over and over and over again. Suzanne, what about bringing them here to the 20? Crossing, 20. Taking them to the 40. 40. Um, across to the other 40. We can stop them here where they'll be crossing the 50 yard line. Super, yes. Um, a contagion, maybe, starting with our four center girls. We're worked out. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, a turn block. All right. But as long as it's clean, it's graceful. Oh, it will be clean. All right, girls, up. Let's all line up, please. Three lines. I'd like to see my group leaders up, please. Jill. Kim. Vanessa. Now, what we're going to do today, girls, is work on some of our steps that we'll be doing at the Super Bowl. All of you know the steps. I will be changing the sequence. And we'll start with a step pull up four times. All of you know this. Okay? Ready? On. Look, pull up, and step, pull up, step. I want sharp. And a one. Tempo much faster this time. Ready? And sharp. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Use those heads. Strong arms. That's it. Turn and push for up. Look sharper. Hey, did you know there's some kind of movie crew filming around here? Here? <laughs> Kim. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. A little ignition problem. <laughs> We shall continue at uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, stop. Okay, one and two in the front room. Three and four will stay here. which could be massive, and not only in Japan. Captain? I've done a simulation on transport, equipment, security, everything from hitting the coast to secondary targets inland. And? Problems. What sort of problems, Captain? A tight schedule, limited availability of transport, and most of all, the cost in human terms. If I may, I think you're underestimating them. They're a very unique outfit. I never said they weren't. In fact, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, there is only one Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. And they are going on Operation Outreach. Has anyone spoken to the Cowboys organization yet? A USO tour of our Far Eastern bases for their cheerleaders? They should be delighted. In less than two weeks, night after the Super Bowl? It will mean a lot of extra work for them. What kind of work? Well, so they'd have to pick out the girls that they'd want to go and prepare a whole new show while they're preparing for the Super Bowl. Captain Webner? Yes, sir. Can it be done? Well, yes, sir, of course. Anything can be done. Good. Then you're responsible to handle it. Sir? And I expect no. I repeat, no problems. Understand? Yes, sir. Uh, but um, it is true, sir. They will have less than two weeks for preparation. Then you'd better get cracking, Captain. Now. 
Yes, sir. Outstanding record, Candy. Thank you. And you know there's only one reason why you're not here in medical school now. Money. Yes, and we both know that there simply isn't enough in the scholarship fund. Perhaps next year. Sir. Well, I was thinking, uh, couldn't I work my way through? I work my way through college, and I'm a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader, so I'm used to extra hours practice and work. I know what you've accomplished, Candy. And I think I know what you can do. There's one reason why we really want you here. But there are rules. No full-time employment. Not in medical school. There simply isn't time. You're young. Be patient. Perhaps next year. Or the year after. I'm sorry. I can. Why can't you be that way with Hannah? Frank, please, just let me do my work. You know, nursing is my profession. I cannot allow it to become a religious dedication. I'm sorry. And I'm late for practice now. Equal than others. 
I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to get back to you, but with the Super Bowl coming up, I've been up to here with the things going on. What can I do for you? Well, first of all, you have to promise not to run me out of town. Well, now, why would I want to do that? Look, Miss Mitchell, I know how busy you are. But? Uh, but I do have a request. I'm sorry, Captain. I'm sure it's for a very worthy cause, but I simply can't squeeze another engagement into the cheerleader schedule. I'm, I'm afraid that I can't take no for an answer. You see, I represent thousands of soldiers on onerous duty, and we, the Army, the State Department, would very much like the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders to visit them. Now, you don't have to worry about any transportation. I'll handle all the details. And just where would we be going? Oh, you, no, I told you, you don't have to worry about a thing. I'll arrange for all the transportation. Well, it's, it's all right. We have our buses if it's not too far. Well, that all depends. On what? On what you would consider not too far. Well, you'll have to tell me where it is before we can tell you that. <laughs> Japan really isn't all that far, is it? Japan? You will love it. As far as Korea and the rest of the Far East Tour. Captain, are you sure there aren't two men in white coats looking for you? And the tour has to begin the day after the Super Bowl. <laughs> now I know you're crazy. Uh, Miss Mitchell, I can't begin to tell you how serious I am. Look, I'm sorry, but it's impossible. The, the request isn't just from me. It comes from the very top echelons at the Pentagon. And also straight from the State Department. State Department? That's right. You're a big hit. The pictures of the cheerleaders are all over the Far East. Captain, Captain, you don't understand. There just isn't time. Besides, it would have to be approved by the League. The National Football League is already approved. Well, then it would have to be approved by our front office. We've already taken the liberty of talking to Mr. Schramm. And what did he say? Well, he took it as a great compliment to the whole Dallas Cowboys organization. Now, he said that even though he thought it was a very good idea, he leave the decision entirely up to you. I have a feeling that you might have two or three more surprises in store for me. Well, now, there is one other small thing. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, it's going to be a very fast-moving tour, all the major Far East command bases before the gala in Tokyo. Mm. The logistical setup can only handle you, Taxi, and 14 cheerleaders. That means more than half the girls are going to be left out? I know, and I'm sorry. But so am I. Now you can see why I didn't come straight to the point. I sure do. Captain, why don't you go back to whoever let you loose and you tell them to work it out differently? The Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders are a group. If we go, we go as a group. You know, this is too exciting. But, uh, you admit it, it is exciting. Of course it is, but it comes at the worst possible time. And I'll be damned if I'm going to cut out one of those girls unless I am certain that it's absolutely necessary. It is. Please, believe me. I fought that same battle for all the girls and lost. The distance involved, security, logistics, and a hundred other considerations. It out. I'm sorry. I know how tough it's going to be when you have to tell half those girls they won't be going. cheerleaders have been invited to go on a USO tour abroad to Japan. Ladies, this is Captain James Webner. He will be our liaison officer.
officer during the tour. When do we leave? I'll answer your question. How long do we leave? One by one. We'll be leaving a few days after the Super Bowl. <laughs> and we'll get you your itineraries as soon as the specifics have been worked out. But... Because of the logistic problems involved, only 14 girls will be able to go. Oh, that means over half of us are going to be left out. That's yeah, right. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, those of you that can get clearance from your teachers and your employers will be asked to do a short number. Sing, dance, acrobats, drama, whatever you choose. And on that performance, Texie and I are going to decide who's going. Mm -hmm. Now, I know some of you are going to be very disappointed. Hurt, maybe even angry. I can understand that. But remember, this is just one tour. Don't let it change the way we feel about each other. All right? Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. 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 Taxi? Okay, girl. In your place is on the field. You cut it up and you forget it. This girl has a great quality. I'm going to bring it out of her. I'm going to make it happen. Okay. Nice. 
that, all right? Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Tonight? Oh, I thought we'd go uh, dancing to celebrate. What? The cheerleaders are going to Japan. <gasps> Come on, I'll tell you all about it. I wanted to make him well myself. He really needed me. And, uh... Oh, I loved him so much. And then... But he died. Uh... See, see that night uh, after my shift was over, I stayed on. I just kept watching him fight that scene. And it just got, it just got worse. And then I saw him die. I'm sorry, Betty. I will never get torn up like that again. I let myself get, oh, too attached to him. It's unprofessional. No, oh, and what the hell is professional? Not caring? <sighs> Not caring too much. Well, what do you care too much about? Nothing. I won't let myself. You're mixing up what you do with who you are. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I did that once. You don't exactly come on with sweetness and light on the wards all the time, either. I've seen you get pretty rough. I'm not talking about sweetness and light, lady. I'm talking about commitment. Commitment. Even when you're feeling helpless, because someone is looking to you to save them, and you don't know whether you can come up with a miracle. But that all comes with the territory, Patty. Sometimes it's hard to accept it, but that's what we have to do. Or at least try. Okay. I don't do this very well. <laughs> I bet you didn't come here to dance, did you? I think you're a very perceptive young lady. Actually, I came here to talk to you. Me? Don't flirt with me, lady. way for a star to talk to her directly. What did you call me? Star. S-T-A-R. 
fear and stuff. That is crazy. It's unfair. Most girls work their tails off going nowhere. Other girls just have it. Star quality, star shine. What makes you think that I... Look, I'm a professional. I've got two Emmys. We've got a half a dozen high-rated specials to prove it. The thing I can do better than anybody in this business is make stars shine. My ex-wife, for example, Monica Reed. I saw her last picture. She, she was... A pain, an ex-wife of mine, a major talent, a star. When I first met her, she was a dancer in road company musicals. I worked with her. I pushed her. I taught her what she could be. And she made it. And she walked out of me. It's history. We're here now. And I'm telling you that I can spot potential. I can make it happen. With you. has been chosen for a USO tour. Teddy! And we are really proud about that. You're going to Japan. Well, now, maybe. I have to get chosen first. See, they can only take a few of these girls. Don't worry, you'll get picked. Yeah. Uh, how long will you be gone? Oh, three weeks. Oh, now, don't you worry, Hannah. I'm not deserting you. I wouldn't do that. Tell you what I'll do. If I get chosen, I'll send you something from Japan. What? You tell me. What do you want? But I don't know. What do they have in Japan? Oh, I know that's a good question. Let's see. They have temples, chopsticks, uh, kimonos, those are the little dresses that they wear, um, cameras. I don't know what they've got either. Dolls? They've got to have dolls. If they go, I guarantee you a doll. <laughs> there. And that is going to be a lot of work. See, we have to work up a whole other routine on top of our Super Bowl routine. But you know something, Hannah? It's the only way to get anything. You've got to work real hard at it. You don't have to talk around the corner at me, Patty. I'm taking my medication. <laughs> You're a good girl. And you're smart, too. Okay. Hannah. I know you hate it when I'm sick. I know I bother you. And I hate it. I hate thinking. I may not ever get better again. It scares me. I know it scares you, sweetheart. But I want you to know, I care very much for you. That's why I get upset sometimes, because, as well, I get scared, too. I wish I could see the cheerleaders in that show. Oh, so do I. I can't go to Japan. Well, maybe we'll bring Japan right here to you. You mean, you'll all come here to the hospital and do the show? Um, uh, Do you really mean it, Patty? Yeah, I really mean it. Look, 
I mean, the company made me an offer I just can't refuse. The promotion! Assistant manager, information systems. Home base right here in Dallas. <gasps> Let's get married. No more waiting. We'll work that medical school problem out later. After the first few kids. Well, that sounds like an offer I just can't refuse. Candy? Hmm? Telephones. Hey, tell them she's unavailable. It's Dean Jeanette. Dean Gillette. Yes, well, I surely will think about it. I promise. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, bye-bye. Dean Gillette got me a scholarship to medical school. Hey, that's great. Then what is it you've got to think about? Well, it's not here in Dallas. It's in Nashville, Tennessee. There's still nothing to think about. You've got to go. You're going to be a doctor. I don't know, Grandma. I don't know. Oh, is that me? Mm -hmm. oh, I can't believe it. I look like a star. Someone the camera loves. See, that's what I can do for you, better than anyone you've ever met, if you'll work. If you get rid of those bad habits, look at that. There. What? Uh, Diane, that's sloppy. It was only two steps, maybe three. One is too many. You sure know how to make a girl feel good. That's not part of the deal. Diane, from me, you will get the truth. Until it hurts. It's better than being second rate. 30 million people are going to watch a special about the cheerleaders. I want them to see nothing but you. How? How do I do it? That's the answer. Let's get to work. Right now? On what? On what you're going to do in the audition tomorrow. Okay.
will be running these auditions the same way we did the finals for the cheerleaders. Now, we expect that you have brought in some entertainment act that you think would work well for the USO tour. So let's get rolling. Hmm? Telling me what you're doing? The show we're doing. We got a new fix on it. Very special. Dallas Cowboy cheerleader becomes a star. Diane? Diane. And she bought it? I bought it. Yeah. She does look a little like your ex-wife. Drop it, Pete. Oh, come on, that's a nice girl, Terry. She could get Bennett. You know what you're doing? Have I ever been wrong? Yeah. Well, not this time. All right, Dixie, whenever you're ready. <laughs>
and I would like you to know that we're going to try our best to pick a tour group that you'll all be very proud to have represent you. We'll make our decision in a few moments, but I've got to tell you, you've made it very hard on us. I love you so much. I can't bear the thought of leaving you for three years. And I love the cheerleaders. <laughs> oh, I can't even bring myself to think about not being a part of this anymore. My grandmother. I love my grandma so much. She's worked so hard, putting me through school. And she's dreamed so about me being a doctor. I don't know how I can let any of you down. Yeah, that's fine. 
Can the other kids watch too? Oh, I uh, I sort of promised her that. Well, I told Hannah I was going to try and get some of the cheerleaders over here just for a little show, you know, maybe just a few routines. Oh, Patty, that's wonderful. I hope so. You all know we're running out of time. We only have a week to get the Super Bowl perfected and get the tour show together. So after rehearsals, you ladies going on that tour are going to have to stay on and rehearse. Goodness knows, we need the work. But it's the only way you get to be the best. And wherever you go, the Super Bowl or the Far East, Remember, you're not only representing the Dallas Cowboy organization, you're representing each other. So you simply have to be the best, right? Right. All right. Taxi, come on. like your work, uh, working such long hours. Suzanne, you're a whiz at a lot of things, but uh, making small talk is in your long suit. Why don't you get to the point? What do you want? Some answers. Okay, let's hear the questions. Diane, is she any good? Oh, I don't mean is she any good as a dancer or she wouldn't be a cheerleader. Is she any good professionally? Yeah, she's pretty good. Terry Colleen, I understand, said he could make her a star. Can he? No. Terry's got talent. But he can't do magic. But he made his wife into a star. Monica Reed? <laughs> maybe he did. Or maybe he just got out of the way. Diane's a nice girl, but she's no Monica Reed. Not as talented. Uh, not a killer. A what? Showbiz. It's like a shark tank. I mean, it's for blood. Monica Reed could have starred in Jaws. That was one tough lady. He got her some parts uh, in a TV special. But that was the extent of his ticket. And then she just threw him out. He's been trying to prove something ever since. He could make a star. With Diane? Out of Diane. Suzanne, one chance she'll do it. 99, they'll work her over and chew her up. A young girl gets some hard miles on her, and soon... she's not a young girl anymore. You gonna try to stop it? Can I? I don't know. A pretty young girl gets those stars in her eyes. That's heavy stuff.
Angeles, and I have some great news for you. Really? What do you mean? Come here. Hey, Suzanne. Can I talk to you for just a minute? Sure. What is it? Well, I've got a big problem here. Oh, come on. Nothing's that terrible. Hey, yes, it is. See, I had this patient at the hospital. Uh, a little girl named Hannah Sue Lyman, and, um... You know, she's just about the biggest fan the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders have ever had. Well, we can't have too many of them. Do you want to bring it to rehearsal? Well, it's actually a little bit more than just bringing her to a rehearsal. See, she's very sick. I'm much too sick to leave the hospital, so, uh... Oh, dear. Well, Suzanne, I don't know how I can say this to you, but, um... Well, she's just such a fan of ours, you know, and she knows all about the Forest Tour already, and she wants to see it so badly, so I, uh... I promised her. Promised her what? Well, I promised her that the girls could go there and do part of the show. To the hospital? Yes. Oh, Patty. Why did you do that? You know it's one continuous rehearsal until the Super Bowl. I can't ask the girls to do an extra show. You should have checked with me first. I know you're right, Suzanne. Thanks anyway. And it shouldn't have promised her. Suzanne, I've got a problem. You too. I've been accepted into medical school. Oh, that's great. Congratulations. It's in Nashville, Tennessee. I've been debating whether to go or not. And, um... I'm still not sure yet for a lot of reasons. But I'd have to go and enroll next week. Which means I wouldn't be able to go on the Far East tour. I'm sorry, I, I know it's not fair giving you such short notice. Don't worry about it. I'd have a very good alternate for you. Okay, what's the word for saying? Diane, can it wait? It's kind of important. Well, all right, what is it? Uh, text me up, I'm sure. Thanks. Well, is there anything wrong? No, 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 everything's just fine. Except I can't go on the Far East tour. Oh, why not? Because I'm going to go to Hollywood to be in a big TV special. But Mr. Kalane's going to direct, I presume. Will you be coming back to Dallas afterwards? No. This is such a big break for me, Suzanne. You're not angry, are you, that I won't be going to Japan? I mean, there are a dozen girls as good as me. I don't agree, but that's not important. You are. Have you thought this through? Now, please, don't try to discourage me. Diane, I think too much about you to try to do that. I want to be sure if you're sure. Oh, oh I am. Just listening to Terry. Oh, I can imagine he's a very persuasive man. But have you thought it through? Do you know what it'll be like? Do you know what the demands will be? Of course. I... Not really. I just haven't had time, but I will. I promise you I will. And I won't be going till after the Super Bowl. Well, I guess there's nothing else to say except congratulations and good luck. Thank you, Suzanne. The thing is, you know, now that I've promised Hannah, I mean, she and those other little kids, they're just looking forward to this so much, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, how am I supposed to go in there and face them and say it's not going to happen? It's really going to be terrible, all right. I know I couldn't face her. Mm. I know what you're going through, Patty. I'm going to have to face one of those super tough conversations myself. Either I tell my grandmother I'm not going to medical school and break her heart, or I tell Tim I am, and we're all hardly going to see each other for three years. I'll tell you, it sure isn't easy loving people. All right, ladies, it's time. 
time to throw it up again. I know how tired you must be, but we really must get it perfect before we leave here tonight. Tammy, would you take Candy's place? Permanently. I want you to know that I didn't lie to you. I did promise a little bit more than I should have, but... I... I can't bring you to the other cheerleaders, but, um... I can do the routines for you. Just you? Yeah, just me. I don't have any pom-poms or crowds. But, um, that's all I have. Will you watch? Dr. Campbell, please call the OR. Dr. Mervyn Campbell, call the OR. Okay. Now I'm going to do some cheers for you.
Hello? Hi, Suzanne. I see you're all finished. We're the shooting, yeah. We'll cut it together back in L.A. We've got a great show. We've got a great group of girls. Yes, I know they are a great group, all of them. That's why I'm going to stick my nose into your business. Diane? Yes. She said she's going to Hollywood. You're going to make her a star. She's a very talented girl. She has a chance. A good chance? Well, nothing's for sure. We're talking about Hollywood. Yes, so I understand. Uh, that's why I'd like to have you reconsider. Reconsider what? Taking Diane with you. She's a big girl. She can make these decisions on her own. Mr. Kalane, I get to know these girls very well. Diane has talent. She's got a lot of talent. With me, she can go all the way. But what if she doesn't? She will. You have to believe that. That's rule number one of this business. But what if she doesn't? There is no doesn't. I am going to make a big star out of Diane Tyler. The biggest. Me. I'm going to do that. But what about Diane? Not you. Her. Look, Diane is a very super lady. But underneath that super lady is a very vulnerable girl. She doesn't have that toughness you need in show business. And if she doesn't make it, even with someone like you helping her, I don't know whether she'd be able to handle it. Maybe it would wipe her out, ruin her life. If it were up to me, I wouldn't want to make that choice for her. you were going to say that. Tim, please. I do love you. But I've put in so many years dreaming about being a doctor. And my grandmother has worked so hard helping me keep that dream alive. Please, Tim. Try to understand. And I don't want to get any disappointing news about you when I get home. I promise. Well, just in case, I'm going to keep in touch with Dr. Todson and make sure you're doing everything you're supposed to. Even from Japan? From wherever. You know, I'm going to miss you, Hansu Lyman. It's only three weeks. Bye. Take care of yourself. Here? Go, oh, I will. David Martin. I have influence and intelligence. Not Army intelligence, cheerleader intelligence. But the Colby Army base is too far away. You said so yourself. I'll never get near David. But David will get near you. Sergeant David Martin has been assigned as liaison to the tour group. I had to have an aide, didn't I? <laughs> oh, Jim! Thank you! Never underestimate the strength of dancing with General's wives. Bye-bye. Thank you. 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 Thank
convinced you already. You know I just couldn't let you go off to the Super Bowl with this problem on your mind. So I'm here to let you know there's no problem. You're going off to Nashville. And you're going to be one of the best doctors that has ever graduated from that school. You're the best. things that I don't really mean. Like making me a star? I'm sorry. You just take too much of my time. Besides, I need to be worrying about my own career. And all those things you told me. Just things. It's like I said, I get carried away with myself, and I think I can do things that I really can't. That's not fair me believing it all. Yeah, I know. That's why it made for such a great special. A star is born. It's perfect. I'll come across in the cutting. That, that's really why you said all those things, isn't it? Just to make a better show, that's all. And it did. It's a great show. You're going to be great in it. I'll let Pete call you when it's on the air. 